America is in the midst of an Alzheimer's epidemic, and we're also in an epidemic of hearing loss. And believe it or not, there's an important link between the two. CBS 2's Dr. Max Gomez now uh, here with that. Doctor. The good news is there's something you can do about it. You know, most risk factors for dementia, age, family history, genetics, we can't do much about. But we can do something about hearing loss, especially important now that baby boomers are starting to lose their hearing from age and too much loud music. I could not hear anything. I couldn't hear the screen or the speakers. I couldn't hear literally anything. It was silent. This is becoming so common, experts are calling it an epidemic, especially for baby boomers. Years of loud rock music combined with aging and earbuds or headphones that pump high decibel sounds into our ears, and you've got a hearing loss epidemic. What's more concerning, though, is that several studies have linked hearing loss with Alzheimer's and other dementias. The theory is that... You have to spend a lot of effort trying to get to the brain to hear what's being said. When you're doing that, there's not enough mental capacity capacity left to make those memories and so the memory begins to decline. Then there's the social isolation that comes with hearing loss. I was always uncomfortable and I would ask my friends what did they say <laughs> and uh, they got tired of telling you? Yes they did. Rose Garofola started noticing that was happening about 10 years ago. Without her hearing aid, she might have started to withdraw from social situations, from embarrassment, or just not being able to participate. And that social isolation is a well-known dementia risk factor. We need to stay engaged with mentally challenging tasks, even if that just means um, seeing our friends, our family, engaging in conversation. That keeps us um, mentally healthy. The good news is that hearing aids can compensate very well for hearing loss. Rose finds her larger hearing aids easier to handle, but modern aids are tiny and nearly invisible. Now, new hearing aids can be tuned to focus on sounds you want to hear and reduce those you don't, as in a noisy restaurant. Some have Bluetooth, so you can hear music and calls from your smartphone, or even link to your TV or in specially equipped theaters. Now, some of them can be expensive, or some can be cheaper through retailers like Walmart, but there's so many different options and, and, and things that are available now to improve your hearing sure. so that you can reduce your risk. That's at least one thing you can do to reduce, reduce your risk of dementia. You know, I never thought of that link, but now that you explained it, it makes total sense. Yeah, mm -hmm. I mean, it, it, it's, it's been shown a few times that it keeps getting stronger as yeah. they keep studying more. They realize that, you know, the brain can only <laughs> can only do so much there. Sure. Yes, makes a lot of sense. Dr. Max, thank you. Thank